Yeah, hi there, and uh, these comments, I'm going to use your initials uh, MK, I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all the lessons at the 7-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT, you did the free TOEFL writing practice test evaluation, wow, uh, you sent me two, I only do one. I'll correct, I will score either your independent or integrated, so I just randomly chose the independent essay, and that's the one I'm going to comment on right now. Uh, I'm going to go to the rubrics, and I will put these rubrics into your email so you can see how I graded your paper based on what criteria. Uh, and I got a lot of good things. I got a lot of good things to say. Uh, I think... The one thing that you do that not a lot of students do is your detail, your examples are impressive. You take time to provide examples to support your argument you're trying to make. So that's very, very effective. Okay, give me a quick second here. I'm looking at the rubrics right now. Okay, independent writing. Okay, here we go. Okay, so... I think with your writing, I don't know, there, there's some things that are really good. There's a few problems that might bring your score down a bit. I'm going to put you at 24 to 25 points out of 30, 3.75 to 4.0 uh, out of 5. That would be my estimation right now. And let's take a look at your essay so I can give you some comments. So what could you do better? How could you get a perfect score, right? Okay, so uh, looking at the essay, uh, I think you need a more specific thesis. So you say, I feel this for two reasons, which I will explore in the following essay. So that's not really a thesis statement. If anything, that's a memorized template that a thousand other people have said to begin their essay. So there's nothing really unique about your thesis. So you can make, you can create a stronger thesis statement, right? Now, the next thing is you can improve, I think, your topic sentences of your two paragraphs. And I have no problem, by the way, of just using two reasons. Because each paragraph is like 150 words. Are you kidding me? So you have very good development in those two body paragraphs. And in my opinion, that's enough. So you say in paragraph two, to begin with, each student is different from one another in terms of their learning ability. That's a fact. It's not really an argument. Now, at the end of your paragraph, you say, thus, it would be unfair to measure the teacher's pay just based on the performance of the student. So at the end of the paragraph, that's when you kind of tie it together, but still, your topic sentence should not be an argument. It should be. It should not be a fact, but it should be an argument. So you might say this. Well, to begin with, teachers' pay should not be based on performance because each student is different in terms of their learning abilities. That's what I would say there, right? So you want to recast that topic sentence more as an argument and not as a fact. Let's go to your next paragraph. You say teacher can only act as a motivating factor in guiding them to reach success. Again, it's a fact. So instead of making a fact, you want to say, secondly, uh, teachers also should not be paid according to how much the students learn because their role is to motivate the students to reach success, but they cannot force their students to reach success. And then you give the examples that you gave to support those ideas. So I think the thesis, topic sentences could be stronger, and then you do have some problems with language use. So let's just take a look at one example. You say in the second paragraph, for instance, Section A would compromise average level students. No, you would say Section A would comprise of average level students. So use comprise instead of compromise. So I think you have some language use issues in there. You have some slight problems with your thesis and your topic sentences. So that's probably going to, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to revise my score just a little bit. I'm going to put you at 375 out of 5.0 or 24 points out of 30. That would be, I, th I think I'm comfortable putting you in that area, maybe not in the four area, because the more I read, 
I start seeing some more word choice, maybe some grammatical problems in there. So you have to be careful about that. All right, so those are my comments to you. Now, if, if you're interested, maybe, maybe not, right? I would love to have you as one of my students in my TOEFL Writing Boot Camp course. I'm going to offer you a special discount right now. Instead of $130, I will lower the price to $99. And I will send you an invoice, a PayPal invoice, immediately. So if you want to join my course, you can certainly do that. And I think for you, uh, your goal really... Now, I don't know if you took only 30 minutes to write this, but if you did take 30 minutes and you wrote what you did, I think it's reasonable for you to try to get a perfect score. How about 30 points out of 30? I think with some coaching, with some correction on my part, I think I can get you to that higher level. How about that for a writing subtotal score? 30 points out of 30. All right, so thank you for doing the TOEFL Writing Practice Test Evaluation.